Hello friends, welcome back to another amazing video. In this video, I will be providing you the solution of our arcade special challenge, Love Beyond Query, last lab, lab solution, which is going to be troubleshooting data models in Looker. Yes, this time we are starting from the bottom. Last lab, we will start with the last lab solution. I will upload it because uh, most of my subscribers are saying that last lab is tough. So, they don't get solution or not get the solution. So, that's why I am starting from the bottom most. Okay? And one more thing, this is a special uh, challenge with worth of the two arcade points so if you haven't seen my video before you can see it in the link description box okay now without wasting time access the lab open it click on the start lab button for the credentials and this time we will be working in the google looker uh, yes we all, all the time we were working on the google cloud console but this time we will be looking, uh, working in the looker uh, console so that's why it's going to be a little bit different okay so first of all we need to copy the username so copy it by clicking on this copy button and right click upon open looker and open it in cognitive window in cognitive window may you open it it will ask you for the email and the password in the email we will simply paste the username that we just copied and for the password, we will again copy the password from here. Click on this copy button. Come back to here. Place the password here and click on the login button. And we get logged in with the Looker console. Okay. Wait for a couple of seconds to get loaded. And first of all, we need to activate the development mode. So for that, we need to click on this button. Click on it and wait for the page to be loaded. Once this mode is enabled, we will start working. So now our development mode is activated. So we need to simply go to the develop button. Click on this develop. And from here, select quick lab e-commerce. Select this one. Wait for it to get load. Now select the views table and click on this three dot icon. Okay, click on this three dots and we need to click on create uh, view. Yes, click on create view. And for the file name, you need to simply come back to the lab and go to the description of the video. And in the description, you will find the link of this GitHub file. Of course, GitHub file link in your description box. You have to access this because this contains all the necessary code which is required to complete the lab. Okay, first of all, you need to copy the first one. So click on this copy button to copy it. Come back to the lab here and paste the file name that we just copied and click on create button. It will create a new file for us. And automatically that file would be loaded for us. Now here, come back to that file again, get a file and copy the second step to code by clicking on this copy button. Copy it. Come back to here. Select all given here and remove it. And now paste the new code that we just copied. Then click on save changes. Once the changes are saved, we need to simply go to the users. And uh, here, we would remove whole code. And again, come back to the GitHub file. Scroll down a little bit and copy this whole step three by clicking on this copy button. Come back to here. Paste it here and click on save changes again. Now we need to make one more changes for that. Click on this models tab and click on training e-commerce dot model. Again, select this whole command, remove this, come back to the file, scroll down to the step number four, copy it from the step number four, come back to here, paste it here, click on save changes. Now once the changes are saved, we need to click on validate look ML. It will validate this. Click on commit changes and push. And for the commit message, simply type being notified. And click on commit. Then click on deploy to production. Once you are done with this, your, uh, most of the tasks are completed. Now we can come back to the lab, scroll down to the task number one. You don't need to submit these answers. You don't need to give the answer for the MCQ. Simply scroll down and look for the check my progress button here. You need to click on this button and you will get the green tick here. Wait for a couple of seconds. You can see assessment is completed. Scroll down. Just skip these. Keep scrolling. Click on this check my progress and you will get the green tick here as well. Don't worry if it takes a little bit time. Our assessment is completed. Scroll down to the task number three. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling. You need to go come to here. This is the last task we need to do. So first of all, you need to copy this uh, name. You have to create a new look. So click on this. Copy this whole command. Make sure you should not copy any extra full stop at the end. Your last minute full stop given enough. You have to copy. Nahi karna hai. Last minute full stop given. Hai. Okay. Otherwise, it will throw an error. Okay. Now come back to the lab again. That uh, looker tab. Click on this navigation icon. Click on back button and click on explore. And from here, you will select order items. Once the looker dashboard get loaded, you need to click on this tag CPS. Wait for it to get loaded. Once it's get loaded, we need to again run it. So wait for it to get loaded. It will take a little bit time, around one to two minutes. So wait, uh, wait for it. So once it's loaded, you need to simply click on the run button. Okay. Once it's get loaded, the data get loaded. You need to click on the run button. It will again start it to load the data. So we have to wait for one minute again. The lab, the lab is easy. This whole process took a little bit time. So now our data is loaded. So you need to click on this gear icon from here. Click on save. Click on as a look and paste the title that we just copied from the lab and click on save button. Now scroll down a little bit. Keep scrolling on this table. And let me check. Yes, click on this user average sales arrow button. You need to click on this arrow button. And it will sort the data and again start it to load the data. Once the data is loaded, we will run it and again save this. This is the process we need to follow and our lab will be finished. Okay, my lab will complete it. It's just a minute. Yes, now we can click on the run button. Wait for the data to be loaded. Now click on gear icon. Click on save. Click on save as a look. Is the title that we just copied and click on save. The title will be same. Okay, so click on OK button now. Now we can come back to the lab. Scroll down a little bit. Click on the check my progress and you will get the green tick in this task as well. Wait for a little bit of time. Well, let's retry. Don't worry if you are not receiving the check my progress green tick in this button because there is one thing you missed that is you have to set the range to 10 as well. So come back to here, click on this, click on uh, in the role limit, we set it to 10, click on run button. 
and it will load the data accordingly just uh, we are done we just click on the run button then from the settings you have to save it as a look again copy this title copy it very carefully come back to this model click on run uh, not the run click on the gear icon click on save click on as a look paste the title click on save button click on ok now it should give the green tick to us right Yes, we get the green tick because there was the only problem that we didn't set the row limit to the 10. That was, that's why we were not getting the green tick. Now with this, our uh, task number last uh, four is remaining. So let's do that also. So simply click on the check my progress and you will get the green tick in this task as well. Let's see. Yes, you can see we get the green tick beside this uh, task as well. With this, our lab is completed. Totally tricky over the lab. Again, don't worry. Our lab is completed now. Congratulations. Now you can click on the end lab button. Click on the end lab button once again. Give the star rating that you want to give. Okay, it's taking a little bit of time to load. Give the star rating, click on submit button and come back to main page to verify whether we actually get the green tick in the lab or not. Main page package checking, we have a lab green tick milai. Just scroll down a little bit, open the module, scroll down and you will see that we get the green tick beside our lab. It means we successfully completed this lab. So if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you have any query, you can ask me in the comment box or on the WhatsApp group. Thank you very much. Good. Bye.